Okay, this is the drawing that we will uh, use to make this uh, part. So the process that uh, we need to make is one, first of all is uh, facing, and then we will turn this this down, and then we need to turn this uh, radius, chamfering and knurling. Okay, first uh, I will show you on how to insert uh, how to insert uh, a tool into the holder. So this is the cutting tool, roughing. So first slot in the tools here, and then tighten these three screw. So now the tools are in the right place. Next, what we need to do is we need to center the tool to the part. So first, what we need to do is we need to slide this tail stop, then insert the tail stop. Then we move the tail stop to the cutting tool. Okay. So make sure the tip of the cutting tool is centered with the uh, tail stop. So currently this is uh, slightly tilted up a bit so we will need to adjust the cutting tool height okay how do we adjust this tool height first what we need to do is we need to loosen this screw now it is loosened to adjust it move this screw up and down until we get a center okay then we tighten it back again now that the tool bit has uh, been centered so we need to place this tool back to its uh, original position because if we set it like this we cannot cut the part so set it straight here yeah? and then tighten this top screw okay so this angle is slanted a bit so this side won't touch with this face if if we are doing a facing process Okay, now this uh, tail stock, uh, we have finished using it, so how to uh, remove this, first loosen the screw to down, and then pull it back, and then to tighten it, uh, to plug it at uh, this space, push it, this level to the front. So now it is locked. Okay, this is the cutting speed that uh, this machine have. So for roughing process, normally we use uh, the speed of 600. So we can use this setting, 600 RPM. So the setting is uh, JLM. Now we have to plug this lever to JLM. Okay. Later, if we want to uh, change this to high speed for finishing, we can use this setting, HLP or GLP. So how do we change it to GLP? Move this lever to G. This is uh, move to L, this is to P. Sometimes if the lever is stuck, 
we need to turn uh, this spindle so that uh, we can engage the gear. Okay, first what we need to do is we need to power on this machine. Okay, the machine has uh, been turned on and then uh, we need to turn on this gear row on so that we can use it uh, use uh, its position okay how do we insert the workpiece into the chuck so slide the workpiece inside and then tighten this screw make sure that uh, this we have a uh, 45 millimeter space because we need to work on that now we are ready to do facing <laughs> 